How's it going everyone? It's Sam. I was wrong about one of my top cryptos. There's something that came out and honestly, I thought it would go one way, but it's going a completely other way. I want to talk about that. I also want to talk about what this means for other cryptos. And this will this will be really clear once I go into it. I also want to talk about some of the other top news in the market with Luna and with Elon Musk. If you guys don't mind hitting the like button and subscribe button, I appreciate that. There will be timestamps underneath the video in case you want to skip around, but I would suggest staying through to the end. Also, there's a link down there to Patreon in case you want to know exactly when I buy and sell different stocks and cryptos. I also give updates twice a day in there during the week. So definitely check that out in the description. Now, Bitcoin is down a little bit over the last 24 hours, down about 2.7%. We were down around 39,000. 300 then bounced bounced right back up to 41.3 now under 40,000 now the crypto that i've been wrong about is actually ethereum so i have made several videos on this recently talking about the merge with uh, I, i'm just gonna call it 2.0 but it's not called 2.0 anymore but uh with ethereum's merge coming up this summer i had said several times that one of the massive problems with that was if it got delayed and if it got delayed, I thought it would have some negative pricing pressure. Now, right now, it sounds like they're actually going to have a delay. One of the one of the devs on the team says that it's going to be pushed back maybe till the end of the year. Now, they've never gave a definitive date, which I think is important. And that's something that I've talked about before as well. But now it's pushed back. Now, the thing that I'm wrong about is I actually thought this would be really negative for Ethereum. And so far, it hasn't really affected them too much. This was just announced, I think it was yesterday, and it's down 2%. Bitcoin's down even more. I mean, some other cryptos are down 5%. So the fact is, I was wrong. I thought that this being delayed would really send down the price pretty drastically, but it hasn't so far. But I guess I was right on the fact that we are pushed back even further, despite having a successful shadow fork test. Now, this is actually really good for another crypto that I'm highly invested in, Solana. So Solana is one that I've been investing in a lot this year. And even though it's down 65%, 70%, something like that, the fact is that Solana is so valuable because it already it already is so scalable and has so many transactions per second and is very cheap so even after ethereum moves over to the new ethereum ethereum 2.0 it's still going to be slow and it's still going to be expensive so that's something to pay attention to uh, it, it does change it from proof of work to proof of stake but that doesn't help with scaling it up too much now solana already is cheap fast and that's why I think a lot of institutional money has flowed into it this year. I mean, this is just as of this week. We have $107 million worth of inflows in Solana. Well, we've had outflows of $126 million in Ethereum. So maybe some of the large investors know something that we didn't know. But that's why I always like to see what they're doing because of the fact that they usually know more than we do. Now, I have been averaging in, which I think is positive. Uh, in speaking about Ethereum, let's talk about NFTs for a second. Now, before we go any further, I want to talk to you about a new play to earn project called Guzzler. Now, this is cool because it's a play to earn game where you can mix and match all the different parts of the car to create the best experience possible. So we're talking about wheels, engine, body style, all that kind of thing. They're all separate NFTs. Now this is a play to earn game. Like I said, it's available on a couple different platforms, Uniswap, LBank. Now their CEO and founder is doxxed. They have his Indeed profile and full name, and they do have a buy and sell tax. I'm not a huge fan of this, but the thing is it does raise funds for future projects instead of taking as much money at first. They actually have money that comes in constantly for things like marketing and expenses. Now you can find them on CoinMarketCap. Uh, you can also find them on Twitter. I'll leave links to the stuff underneath the video. They have about 5,500 people. You can also see their locked liquidity. Uh, this is about 862 days too until it becomes unlocked. And it is a very small market cap, like 4 million fully diluted. So this is one of those things that's really high risk, high reward in terms of their NFTs or their token. But the thing is you can watch it, you can play the game or see how the game works and then decide if you wanna buy from there. Of course, always do your own due diligence, 
but there are links to all this underneath the video. Thank you to Guzzler for sponsoring this. So some other positive news, BlackRock is to handle Circle's USDC cash reserves as part of a $400 million funding round. There's going to be regulation in stablecoin, but they're not going to outright ban it. There are too many big institutions spending way too much money investing in it. And I think this is positive too, because they actually talk about how BlackRock is going to actually handle the reserve. So if you don't trust stablecoin, just know that it's going to be closely tied to a lot of these other institutional managers that are going to be watching over it. And if you don't trust them, I don't blame you. But the fact is that it will be regularly audited. And USDC is a lot safer than something like USDT, in my opinion. So this is quite positive. And uh, you can see Circle actually projects to have their revenue increase significantly from this year to next year. Now, another thing that has happened over the last 24 hours, Elon Musk made an offer to buy Twitter outright for a nice premium too. I mean, let's take a look at Twitter stock here for a second. It has gone up pretty significantly after Elon said that he was an investor after it came out, and he's willing to buy it for about a 33% premium from where it was just at the beginning of the month. So I'm going to talk about this more in a video, I think later today, but I just want to bring that up because it is really interesting. Now, we also got some news from Amazon. They have no plans on accepting crypto or Bitcoin, which is interesting. Uh, they don't want to deal with the payments, which is really weird because after Jack Mueller spoke at Bitcoin conference, it sounds like a lot of different companies will start to accept it. And maybe Amazon will as well, but doesn't sound like it's something that's going to happen real soon, which is surprising because they could save so much money on transaction fees. However, they did say that they're opening, uh, open to selling NFTs in the future. They're willing to take a little bit of a, or they're willing to sell NFTs and make a decent amount of money, but they're not willing to accept crypto, which is interesting. They're not willing to save money in this way. We did get some news too that TFL or Terraform Labs is gifting 10 million Luna to Luna Foundation Guard. This is obviously a significant amount. That's about what. Oh, a billion dollars. Usually they just convert it over to UST or they can use this as a as a way to sell to other investors, raise some more capital and then have a vesting contract. The cool thing is you can actually see the transaction here. The transaction fee was 0.5 UST. Pretty cool that you can send a billion dollars for a transaction fee of 0.5 UST. Now, let me know your thoughts on all this underneath the video. I don't mind the market right now. I, I realize that it's just going sideways for a while, but in my opinion, it's a good time to accumulate. And it's a good time to accumulate some of these top projects that have sold off way more than Bitcoin itself. Now, I personally have not been accumulating as much of these as I have of you know Bitcoin, but it's all about risk and reward. And with that extra reward, there comes more risk. So I'm just measuring that out. I do have the majority of my crypto in Bitcoin, but I am you know, consistently adding a little bit to these other cryptocurrencies as well. Uh, that way, you know, if we go bear market, I'll still be happy. I have a lot of Bitcoin. I still have some cash on the sidelines to buy. But if we go bull market, I've still been adding to these bags. Let me know your thoughts about this underneath the video. Thank you guys and check out Guzzler and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.